Hello friends, in this video I am going to solve a question from uh, CSIR net exam uh, which is from the subject uh, real analysis and this exam was held in June 2018. So let us see what is the problem. So we have given a function from R2 to R which is defined by f of xy is equal to x raised to the integer part of y and we have been asked to find out that whether the function is continuous or not the second option was <clears throat> if you restrict these functions to real numbers fixing y whether this function is continuous or not similarly fixing x whether this function is continuous or not so let us find out what are the options are correct so it seems that the function is uh, complicated to visualize but let me give you few examples then you will get an idea so the function was from r2 to r f of xy is equal to x raised to integer part of y so for example f of if you take x comma 1.2 then it will be just x raised to integer part of 1.2 but integer part of 1.2 is 1 so the so image of such points is just x and if you have f of uh, x comma some 0 0.2 then that will be x raised to integer part of 0 0.2 but the integer part of 0 0.2 is just 0 so it will be x raised to 0 and this is just 1 so <clears throat> function looks like this so let us check that uh, first option whether the function is continuous or not so we know a very important criterion of continuity which is called as sequential criteria uh, for con continuity uh, which we need to use it here so what does this says if you have a sequence xn comma yn which converges to x comma y then f of xn comma yn must converges to f of x comma y now we will show that actually f is not continuous so this was about first option we will show that f is not continuous continuous at point 2 comma 1 now how we will show this so let us take sequence x n y n to be 2 comma 1 minus 1 upon n now this is converges to 2 comma 1 because the xn is the constant sequence 2 which converges to 2 and this 1 minus 1 upon n is converges to 1 so xn yn converges to 2 comma 1 now if we see what is f of xn comma yn that will be xn raised to the integer part of 1 minus 1 upon n now what is the integer part of 1 minus 1 upon n so if you look at on the number line so this is 0 this is 1 and this 1 upon n these are all numbers which are situated inside 0 1 and their greatest integer part is 0 so this is simply x n raised to 0 and this is constant sequence 1 and this has to converge to 1 but if you calculate f of 2 comma 1 which will be 2 raised to the integer part of 1 integer part of 1 is 1 and this is 2 so here you can see that f of 2 comma 1 is 2 and the sequence f of xn comma yn 
converges to 1 and it does not converges to 2. So this will imply that f is not continuous at point 2 comma 1. So this will imply that the first option cannot be true. Now let us check that whether the second option is correct or not. So they are saying that for every y, so means y is fixed and they are considering function x goes to f of x y. So let us rewrite this. So for fixed y, the function x goes to f of x comma y. So <clears throat> This is function from R to R. You can call this function as G. Where G of X is equal to F of X Y. Uh, note that this Y is fixed number. <coughs> this is just X raised to integer part of greatest integer part of Y. Now greatest integer part of Y. This will always be some integer right. <coughs> And then our function will look like g of x is equal to x raised to k. Now here suppose we have assumed that k is uh, positive. So in that case g of x will be just x raised to k. And we know that this is a polynomial. So this has to continue. So which implies that the this function is continuous if uh, this y is uh, greatest integer y, greatest integer part of y is strictly greater than 0 but now what happens if k is less than 0 that is greatest integer of y is strictly uh, negative in that case our function will look like 1 upon x raised to k uh, actually 1 upon x raised to minus k because k is negative minus k has to be positive so this will be 1 upon x raised to minus k in that case this g of x is not continuous at x equal to 0 right because at 0 we don't know uh, even function is not defined so that means that this function x goes to f of x comma y is continuous on r minus 0. So this will mean that the second option has to be correct. Now we will check that whether third option is correct or not. So third option says that for every x belongs to r the function y goes to f of x y is continuous. So let us see whether this option is correct or not so <clears throat> now x is fixed so for fixed x belongs to r so this function y goes to f of x comma y so now this function will be uh, will again from r to r let us call this function g or g prime so g prime of y will be f of x y which is same as x raised to uh, greatest integer part of y. But now you note that this variable is y or variable is y. In earlier part the variable variable was x. That's why it was continuous there but it will not be continuous here. So we will show that we will show that g prime is not continuous. Now how do we show this? So again let us take uh, y to be 1 and we will show that at this point it will be not continuous. So again we will use sequential criterion take yn to be 1 minus 1 upon n. 
now this sequence will converges to 1 but if you take f of y n now f of y n will be equal to uh, this x raised to integer part of 1 minus 1 upon n but as we have said earlier integer part of 1 minus 1 upon n is 0 so this will be x raised to 0 that means it is a constant sequence 1 and it, that will converge to 1 and if you take uh, f of y uh, so that is one, uh, 1 f of 1 that will be x raised to integer part of a uh, greatest integer part of 1 that is same as x so here the uh, where f of y n will converge to 1 but f of 1 is x now the continuity depends on x so for example if you take x is equal to 2 then f of 1 will be equal to 2 raised to in greatest integer part of 1 which is same as 2 so in that case f of y n converges to 1 and that that is f of y n does not converges to f of 1 therefore uh, sorry g so everywhere it, uh, it is g prime g prime g prime g prime so which implies that g prime is not continuous if we take x is equal to 2 and y is equal to 1 so this will immediately mean that the uh, third part cannot be true now we will see that fourth option is correct or not so fourth option is saying that f is continuous at no point of r2 but note that in second option we have already shown that if we fixed y then x goes to f of x y is a continuous function on r minus 0 so that means for any non-zero x uh, like if have a point x comma y where x is non-zero then the original function f of x y is already continuous at those points so that means the fourth option cannot be correct so this will simply mean that the only second option is correct so that's it i hope you like this video thanks a lot for watching please like share and subscribe if you find this useful and also press that bell icon to get the all updates